Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing the uh, sequel to the 2008 Ip Man movie, it's called Ip Man 2. Um, it has the exact same cast with uh, new additions, uh, Sammo Hung, Huang Xiaoming, and Darren Shalavi. And it also has ha Sammo Hung as the uh, action choreographer again. And also, before we get to started, I advise um, not watching this review if you have not seen the first Ip Man, because there might be some spoilers for that as it's a continuation so just thought i'd get that out there so yeah this uh movie takes place in hong kong in the early 50s and it's after uh it man and his wife escaped to foshan and it just takes place uh what he did and got his wing chun promoted um the only difference is with simon yam is he got shot uh, by one of the generals and yeah that's that's really like the only difference in this movie and also ip's wife is pregnant with their second child so yeah, uh, the start of this movie really is, um, this guy right here challenges Ip Man to a fight, and it's, uh, Ip Man's first student, cause, well, as you can guess, he ends up winning the challenge. Uh, a couple of his friends show up, Ip Man knocks them down too, and then a bunch of people show up, and that's how Ip Man got his first students in training the legendary martial arts Wing Chun. And so basically the next plot point from there is uh, his student gets into a uh, big fight with a gang and the gang's led by Sammo Hung who's a uh, Hungar practitioner and uh, in order for Ip to uh, start his Wing Chun school he has to go challenge three masters and one of them is Sammo Hung of course. And basically what I love about this fight um, when Ip Man goes to challenge the three masters is there's kung fu veteran lo main one of the five deadly venoms and also uh one of the big shaw brothers uh villain superstars uh fung hack on as the other two masters that he fights but yeah the fight between the three masters was great when sammo steps up to the table it's one of the most uh well shot bone crushing fights i've seen in my entire life sammo and uh donnie really know how to bring it to the table um, it's really hard to review this without any spoilers. A lot of people have seen this movie, so maybe this is old stuff to you guys, but, uh, from here on out, basically, Twister, the British guy that comes over, just totally dogs on the Chinese, and, of course, Ip Man steps up to the plate and, uh, you know, shows him his lesson. It's, uh, it's a good film. A lot of people don't think it's as good as the first. I think it's just as good as the first. I understand the impact of the first one with the whole war theme and stuff but i really dug this one and uh yeah totally recommend it if you like the first one you're gonna love this one uh the fighting's really well done um simon yam's pretty good in this one too i mean com being completely psychotic the newcomers are good I, I i think uh he's gonna do really good as a kung fu artist and uh yeah just really great film and uh there's a little treat for you guys at the end all i'm gonna say is bruce lee Thanks for uh, watching and listening. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this review. Uh, subscribe, like it, comment it, hate it, whatever. Thanks. Uber Badass Guy 69 out.